Oh my god, a miracle has befallen me. I updated Gungeon Gober. God damn. After so long of all the modders asking me to do it, I actually went and did it. Oh my god. Anyways. Oh god. Lag. Whoa. Okay, we're good, we're good. Despite that bizarre intro, we are gonna jump on in and just play a regular old run. I'm excited. I'm excited. Gungeon Gober's updated, so we shouldn't have any wackiness with certain mods and... I probably should go and do another review of the character with the wand from uh, Enter the Beyond. Character with the wand from Enter the Beyond. That's kind of fun to say. All right, Mega Hand and Superstitious Bullets. Can I remember what these do? These bullets were forged by a gunslinger that believed that it was bad luck to shoot actually at your target. Use them to fire around pillars. Um, these bullets are also deeply afraid of the number four. Okay, so from what I remember... Is this just like loose herming? Uh, let's let's find out. Oh no. Okay, so it's bouncy. I don't know if it's bouncy and herming, but anyway, starting off with a mega hand here. Mega hand's an item that I very rarely use because it's too strong. Um, it's one of those items that I think is actually too good in the base game, and it appears often enough in the base game that I'm like so unbelievably bored of it, but. Saying that, because of that, I haven't used it in a very long time, so I'm very much uh, willing to do so today. We've got the Apache room here. It's just insane how strong it is. Two-shotting these guys on first floor is kind of crazy. Ow, I, I did not roll in time there at all. So, it's given us a bit of a damage up and bouncy shots, It's but it's, it seems to have increased our spread by double, which, for this weapon... That has no spread. It doesn't make any difference. Because the way spread works in Gungeon is a little weird. When you get something that increases your spread, it just multiplies... Or, well, I'm not sure if it multiplies or adds on to the, the gun's base. I think it's multiplies. The gun's base level of um, spread. But, of course, that means that if a gun has zero spread or one spread, it's multiplying by a very small amount and so it makes no difference. But if a gun has a very high spread, the impact on it is much more apparent, much larger, uh, much more exaggerated. But either way, I'm, I'm having some fun jumping into uh, jumping into a bit of Enter the Gungeon here. It's been a it's been a, a hot minute since I played some, and um, the last few episodes have been, in a word, tragic. So hopefully today's will be a little better. Thank you, um, and we can actually. Get some cool stuff going on, beat a run, and not look like absolute goobers. But I'm recording this at kind of a weird time here. Um, I, I very rarely... Like, I've got to the point now where Gungeon's kind of one of the series that I just kind of record when I need the videos. When I need the episodes. Uh, I don't really have a backlog out or anything. But this time I'm kind of recording this a little bit earlier on in the day. Um, where in the sort of time that I'd normally record uh, Isaac. But I've got such a huge backlog of Isaac at the minute. I feel like it's kind of overkill to, to backlog it anymore. Um, it is like a ridiculous backlog that that's got right now. I think I'm like 25 videos backlogged. I did at one point um, when Repentance first came out. I got us off the mop, key back. Um, when Repentance first came out, I managed to... Oh, we also got long shot. Extra range. Um, yeah, I... I ended up getting up to a 73 backlog at my peak, I think it was. It was it was kind of insane. Um, but yeah, I've, I've since <laughs> I've since got a, a bit better with that. Which, obviously having a backlog that big isn't a bad thing. The main problem, really, at the end of the day is you might talk about things or say things or reference things that are really outdated compared to the video itself. So... Having a, a moderate backlog for safety, so I've always got something to upload, is good. Especially for Gungeon, because that's obviously... Uh, for Isaac, sorry. That's obviously my daily series. Um, but having it a bit too big ends up creating more problems than it's worth. Uh, but yeah, um, there's a chance... It depends when this video goes up today. Because um, it should be going up today on the day that I'm recording it. But... Um, <coughs> oh, one moment. Got a real bad tickle in my throat there, I apologise. But yes, um... Depending on when this goes up today, go out, uh, go over and check out my Twitch because I should be streaming as this video goes up. I should be. As long as I've st stuck to my schedule and up uploaded this at the right time, I should be streaming right now. Obviously, if anyone's watching this a few hours after it's uploaded, 
then I won't be. <laughs> but if you're watching this right as it gets uploaded, go and check my Twitch out and I'm streaming over there. And I will almost definitely be streaming GTA 5 Chaos mod because that's... At the minute, that's just like, I haven't streamed in a long while. That's one of my favorite things to stream. So I think it's going to be a good, a good thing to play to get back into it. Uh, I'm kind of excited to jump back on the streaming for a bit. And uh, yeah, I got to say, it's, it's a lot of fun. So definitely stop by. That's definitely one of those games as well that the, um, the like, it, the, it's far more enjoyable uh, the more people that are watching. Because um, if you haven't seen it before, basically it's a mod that makes it so that viewers vote on random options that, that can affect the game, like positively, negatively, neutrally, and just basically completely fuck me over and try to stop me from being able to complete the game. Um, and it's it's a hell of a lot of fun. I, I did actually propose the idea to Never Named of a, a similar mod for this, just to make, because I don't stream Gungeon basically at all anymore, and it'd just make streaming Gungeon a little more approachable. Um, because at the minute, I'm, yeah, like I said, I, I haven't really streamed Gungeon in a long time. And he definitely said it's an idea that he likes. I don't know if it's something that will ever get done or ever get done anytime soon. Just because obviously it's kind of a, a big undertaking. Um, but it would be it would be pretty cool. Ooh, we got this guy. This guy actually got some new, um, some new tells. I don't know if they're in the update that I'm on, though. We got some new visual. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Still didn't manage to get out of the way because I rolled at the wrong timing. But now it's got a visual tell. I'm very happy about that. This boss is so cool. He's very difficult, though. Can I hit him right now? I think I can. Yeah, I can. Okay. Really cool death animation as well. Really cool. Let's get ourselves this. Ooh, Scouter. Nice. Okay. Scouter's not bad. Scouter's not bad. Also, I got ourselves a shrine here. Unfortunately, it's a terrible shrine. No one cares about. The Red Robin. I don't know what pay to win is, but I'm certainly intrigued. Let's just buy a key for now and we'll come back and reassess. But yeah, now we can really see the true power of this uh, of this weapon and how much damage it actually does. This thing will probably carry us for the next few floors. Okay, we got another key. That's really good because now we can open our chests and buy pay to win. I don't know how good pay to win is, if it's even worth the money, but I'm going to imagine it is. And I'm, I'm pretty excited because, well, I, this, this this sounds really mean. I Like, if I'd have said that the way I was about to say it, it would come off really mean. I was about to say I'm really excited because my girlfriend's away for the week. That's not what I meant. What I meant is my girlfriend's away for the week, but I'm quite excited for today because it means I get to eat a bunch of really shit food that I'm normally not allowed to eat. <laughs> oh, my is action good. Unfortunately, not very good, but I'll take it. Um, yeah, uh, so today I'm going to make some smash burgers and they're going to be incredible. I'm very excited. <laughs> right. So let's, let's go and buy pay to win and see exactly how that works. It might even have a synergy. Yeah, I just want to say it might even have a synergy with the micro action gun. 50% off all in-game purchases. Is that actually true? Um, right, so first of all, let's find out what mod pay to win is from and what it actually is. It's, it's an active. It's from Special API. Um, consumes casings to upgrade chests. Upgrading better. Ooh, this is really cool. And I think because it's half off, we should be able to upgrade for cheap. Upgrade for 35. There you go pretty awesome. Unfortunately, we got another active, which I'm sorry, but I do not want. Um, but we got some cool stuff on our hands here. Special API has got some really, really interesting weapons and items in their pack, so I'm excited to be trying one of them out here. Um, I, I was speaking to Sp uh, Special API the other day uh, after, like, last episode's just tragedy, um, and he was saying it's really annoying that I keep passing up his items. Um, which obviously I don't, I'm not doing intentionally. It just so happens to be that I'm passing up his items. So I'm glad that this time we've actually got one too. And we got it early on enough as well to make a good run out of. And we got it with a pretty interesting synergy. Um, I'm guessing the synergy just does exactly what it says it does on the tin. Um, it gives us 50% off. So unfortunately we did make it in time for that dude, but... 
It says there's still a chest in here on the map. I've also hit myself a bunch of times now. We do have... Ah, oh, I thought we had some health lying around. Apparently not. Alright, so I think weaponry-wise, this is still our best uh, boss killer. Despite not really being a boss killing weapon. I still say this thing's our best chance. But yeah, I'll probably upgrade most chests. As you can probably tell, the upgrades do um, change in cost based on the quality of said chest. So upgrading like a, a red to a black or even a green to a red is going to be somewhat expensive. But it's only half the cost it would normally be seemingly from the uh, from the uh, synergy that we got. I think that's what the synergy does. It's by, by name, I would I would guess. We're almost there with this big boy. We got him. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Ah, oh, so giving us active items. God damn it. I hate it when, when games, especially roguelikes, do that to you. Where, obviously, it's random chance. It doesn't happen all the time. But when it's like you very clearly got an active, you ne you're never going to change. And it's like, here's another active. Here's another active. Here's another active. It's like, fucking... Stop giving me actives. Isaac does it all the time. In fact, uh, Pedroff, the maker of the Ipecac mod, uh, made a mod specifically because of one of my complaints um, for Isaac that lowers your chance of finding an active if you already have an active. Something similar for this game would be very nice. <laughs> it's just, I mean, obviously you could, you could have a bad active and then want to get a better one, so still want to find them. But for the most part, you'd almost always want passive items unless your active is truly terrible. But at that point, you should have to pick it up. You've got to be careful here. This, uh, I, thought, I thought this was a two-way room. One minute. Okay, we're good. Sorry about that. Right, let's carry on. We got a key, which is rather nice. Because this, um... Oh, God. This means that... Oh, my God. I'm going to be pausing, by the way, a few times throughout this. Because someone's just messaged me. Um, I do apologize. But, yes, um, we can actually go and upgrade a chest. I kind of want to try and hoard as much money as possible now to do a few chest upgrades. I want to. I really want to see if I can get, like, one chest up to a black chest. Did that guy seriously survive with one HP remaining? I'm getting hit a lot as well, which is not good. Okay, these guys are poisoned. Okay, we got... Some jammed boys appearing now as well. We've got to be aware of that. Boom. And boom. Even you cannot stop me. No point charging up when we can kill them in one biddly little hit. Some extra health there as well. Obviously, we do still want to check out our shop and see if there's anything we want to buy there. But I think our money's going to be better spent upgrading chests. For the most part. Nice. 48 damage on that dude. Beautiful. Oh, do you see that? That was like a perfect disguise there. He perfectly shrouded himself at the right time to dodge my shot. You little bitch. Okay, right. right. I'm going to have to pause after this room real quick here, so let's finish this one off. Oh my god, I keep not quite charging it long enough. That's another thing about this gun. It just charges up so fast. Anyways, one sec. Right, we are good to go. Let's carry on. So we've got 58 casings right now. That's, that's definitely enough for one good upgrade. If we could get something that could provide us with even more money, that'd be good. Of course, we'll do this as well. I know this costs us money, but if, as long as we don't fail, it'll be good. Without taking damage, should be pretty doable. The guy barely even got to shoot. Right. And we are good. Awesome. That was very easy. And what do you provide for us? Give us our casings back. And you gave us the Amber Die. Not heard of that before. Uh, from once more into the breach, chance for enemy projectiles to be friendly instead. Ooh, that's rather intriguing. Okay, I quite like that. Okay, so we could get some uh, some friendly fire going on here. Oh, we got the uh, this thing again. Right, let's uh, let's let's upgrade this chest. And then, how much is it for a full upgrade? Eighty-five. It's very unlikely that we'll get to eighty-five, 
but I feel we owe it to ourselves to try and save up for it, just in case. Just because getting a black chest is something that, honestly, I don't get black chests that much. I used to get them fairly often, but I feel like now they're so rare. We could get, like, a gold casing from this dude. Or just a red heart. Yeah, there's... There oh, this is actually pretty interesting, because I was just about to say, there's one of the friendly projectiles. But the friendly projectiles adopt our tier effects. I said tier effects, you know what I mean. They, ad they adopt our effects, which means that once they become friendly, they get that bouncy effect going. Ooh, so the question is now, do we want to upgrade two chests to red or one chest to black? Let's let's save this, save that one, and see if we can just get double red chests. I think that'd be pretty good going. We might not even be able to get to double red, but we'll give it a go. Let's go that there. Uh, oh, what the hell? We got the polymorphine, we got the rando rounds, we got double keys in the mix as well. Hmm. We've also got what seems to be like a shop here. Okay. Unfortunately, not a very good shop. I was hoping for a cell creep more than anything, I'll be honest. Uh, cell creep would have really hit the spot here. But we might have to just um, accept accept our lot in life for what it is. Get a few extra casings from this. And we can probably get up to 50 from killing the boss, right? Especially if we flawless it. I believe flawlessing the boss does give you more casings. I never really remember. Well, this room's not going to give us any. Yeah. So, we need to get eight casings from killing our boss here. I don't even know if I have enough, uh... If I have quite enough ammo to kill this guy. Ooh, it affects bosses too. I, I didn't, for some reason, consider that fact. He also just lobbed a, a Claymore that's uh, friendly. This one here next to me is p at least posed to be friendly. It doesn't look very friendly, I'll, I'll admit. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting one, this. Oh, he's in a terrible spot here. Yeah, I've got to be very careful here. Okay, we got him. That was close. I had to kind of focus up on that. But we got there. Uh, we did indeed get enough. We're up to exactly 50 now. We did run out of ammo on this bad boy. Uh, he seems to be stuck. Are you okay there, sir? Hmm. I've never seen one of these do this before. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, he's dead now. Um... Knife to a gunfight. Unfortunately, it's an active. I do apologize. Right. So let's go and smash an upgrade on this bad boy. And there you go. Double the red chest. We get ourselves the ranger, which we'll take a look at in a second. And we also get ourselves this cloak. Um, mimic skin cape. That sounds horrible. Okay, so the ranger is from Once More the Breach. Fires an... Um, an even range of bullets starting high in damage at one end and spread the increments towards the other. That's kind of interesting. And then we got this. Mimics drop bonus items. Kind of annoying that I just killed a mimic. Previously in the Gungeon. Okay. Interesting. It says that we still have chests in these rooms, but we don't. Ooh, this, this weapon's going to be good. <laughs> I like the idea behind this one quite a lot. Right, so let's, let's bounce. Of course, we have left ourselves destitute with no money whatsoever but that shouldn't be too big of a problem uh yeah i think this i think this shotgun is going to be quite intriguing i definitely like the idea behind it i don't know what having the 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 long shots item with the extra range will do to this i don't know if it'll affect it at all ow who made this poor room it was me i did it i made this bad room kind of hard to use but i think it's it's one of those ones that the game kind of expects or uh, never name kind of expected you to want to barrel stuff with it which is of course what i'm going to try and do it seems to work reasonably well as well okay so this is probably a good opportunity to uh upgrade because it's gonna be so cheap 
I wonder if it'll upgrade into a into a chest that also um, doesn't require a key to open, or if it'll upgrade into one that requires a key. I'm a, I'm expecting it to upgrade into one that requires a key. I'll be honest. Okay, so ammo consumption on this, I'd say that this is... It's not particularly ammo efficient, I wouldn't say, but it is very, very strong for the ammo that it has. It's always nice. Like, it's doing a very good job. I think bouncy bullets is really making it a lot better. I don't know if this thing has bouncy bullets by default, or if we're getting bouncy bullets from the item. I'm going to assume it's from the item. Ah, oh, these enemies annoy the hell out of me. We can get some extra ammo here. And then the amber dice just giving us some extra uh, projectiles from enemies is, is quite nice. I'm liking that a lot. I'm even going to take that ammo as well. Oh my god, I'm taking a lot of damage right now. You can tell it's been a little bit since I've played Gungeon like properly trying to actually win because I am terrible at it right now. I'm not doing so well at all. Right, we've got enough for uh, an upgrade on that chest now. Got to remember as well, this floor we have a cell creep too. So if we if we wanna if we wanna like upgrade a chest a little more than normal, or upgrade more than one chest, we can get the funds from a few other ways. Health good. We definitely need to go. I know that you're going to end up creating this dude. You always do. Then you run directly towards me, you weirdo. I think you spawned him inside a table also, which, uh, got to admit, isn't the smartest idea. He couldn't really move at all. I want to get some more bullet modifiers now to go along with um, the enemy bullets becoming ours. Okay, so this is this is sort of our primary upgrade target, I'd have to say. Also, I might even go to the beyond um, because I didn't actually get to really fight the boss last time because the lockdown bullets kind of glitched out a little bit. Also, on top of that, I took spin down dice and, um, and it's very clear that... Uh, Bot was hoping I'd take something different, so I apologize. Spare key. It doesn't spare key give you a key when you pick it up. Ah, uh, unfortunately, we can upgrade these chests, but we don't have a key to open them right now. So, at, at least in our current state, unless we get a key drop from the boss or from elsewhere, upgrading a chest isn't really the best idea. Just buying a key is, is perhaps something that would more preferably do. This is another gun as well where uh, it needs a, it needs something different for its weapon sound. It sounds a bit off. Okay. Good. Good. There's another chest there as well. This this thing I love this thing with bouncy bullets though. This is a really entertaining gun to use. And then here we got this bad boy. Here's our cell tree. Um, so unfortunately, we don't actually have all that much that we want to sell. Um, I think I will sell the mop, just because I've not used that yet. I'll also sell the minigun. I'll also sell the colt. So I think, I think basically our best course of action here is we buy this and we upgrade this. And we then get this. And we get a pretty good weapon. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm liking this. That we've got some very unique and interesting combos going on here. Although, I, I, I have to say, if, um, if this synergy that we have is indeed making things half price, I cannot believe that it would cost... To upgrade a green chest to a red chest, it would cost 100 casings. That seems like way too much. That seems kind of crazy. I mean, I suppose upgrading chests is kind of very, very useful. But at the same time, it, it, do, it does seem a little... Uh, I'm really liking all these bouncy tears coming back at him here. Um, 
but it does seem a bit much. I'm having a really hard time telling what's uh, what's mine and what's his, but we seem to be doing reasonably okay so far. I'm a little scared, but it's creating enough like spaces for me to to work with. But it's okay. I'll, I'll blank here. I don't, I don't, I've been trying to avoid blanking, but there you go. I mean, let's let's just go to the beyond and see what happens. I guess. Um, get the Onyx Bracelet. I can't remember what the Onyx Bracelet does now. That's like something to do with damage, isn't it? Uh, it gives a flat damage up by two. Yeah. Okay. So we've got quite a lot of chests to destroy here. Unfortunately, no extra uh, ammo to to deal with. Uh, no extra keys to deal with them, but. I guess we'll just go and uh, go on a killing spree. I'm hoping for a bit of armor here, because I don't know if the Beyond will cost... Thing, thing, the things in the Beyond will cost just armor, or if they can take health as well. Looks like we're probably not going to get all too much... Uh... Oh, th I think this chest is just openable for free, so let's just do that. And we got ourselves the, uh, the Shadow Key. Duplicates a chest, one use. While that is really good, and I'd actually very much like to use it, I can't really. <laughs> yeah, I can't really, so... Sorry. Right, anyways, let's go and make our way over here. And step in. And we don't really have the best setup or build to defeat this boss, so we might die to this boss. It is a pr particularly tough one, but nonetheless, I'm excited. We also don't have a whole lot of ammo. <laughs> I didn't actually realize how dire our ammo situation currently was. We can take Judgment, the Beyond Sentry, or the Fractured Rounds. I'm going to take that and that. So we get ourselves an awesome cool little sword. Infinite ammo does not reveal secret rolls. A powerful sword that can launch its user forward every third swing. Intriguing. And we also got this. These bullets were forged in the depths of the Beyond... Um, the original function is unknown, but they react violently with bullets from the Gungeon, causing them to rip into two when making contact with any living thing. Very interesting. I'm going to take this as well. <laughs> I, I want to see what it is. It seems really cool. Um, fires a weak laser at nearby enemies. Okay, so I have no idea. Oh my lord. Is this going to be the best thing for me against the boss? I probably would say no. <laughs> um... We're probably going to die against this boss, i got to say. But we, we got some cool items. I really love the zoom out on this fight now. I'm so... Oh, my Lord. That is visually confusing. But that's because it's going to... I I can't keep track of what the hell's going on now. <laughs> the bouncy tears on this dude. Going nuts. <laughs> I will try my best, I promise. But... There's a, co there's a lot of combining effects here that aren't very good for me. Bouncy laser doesn't help. All these bloody numbers from Scout are covering my screen. Ain't great. <laughs> Obviously not the fault of, um, of bot at all. It's nothing to do with this boss. It's just so it happens to be the, the craziness that has been put up among this run. Honestly, though, my, my laser dude is killing it. Whenever, whenever he's hitting, he's doing pretty good damage. This dude moves a lot. Ow. This boss is just masterfully created. I love this boss so much. What on earth? Oh, I was like, what? The, what are all these tears? And I just re uh, these shots, and I just realized that attack that he just did when combined with enemy um, enemy shots can be yours. Quite a lot of shots, and when they bounce, then, then bounce back. We've got a pretty good setup for killing this dude, honestly, haven't we? Where you at? Boom. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna let the, uh, the the game deal with this. Banana? Um, right. Probably want to take ammo for, like, this bad boy. Oh, let's get the hell out of here. That was a very fun fight. I think we kind of dominated it with the, um, with the old amber dice there. I think that kind of overthrew the run a little bit there. But, yeah, now we can actually use this judgment a little more, uh, frivolously. And I'm kind of excited for that. Right. Spirit of the Night. 
I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see just how useful this sword is. Because... Um... Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Based on that one interaction, it doesn't seem very good. <laughs> uh, let me let me go and fight another enemy here. Also, this curse of bullshit ruining everything right now. I just want to see things. Um. Does this? Does this sword work? What the fuck? No offense, but animation-wise, this thing is sexy as hell. But functionality-wise, this sword is dog shit. <laughs> like, as in, as in like damage and stuff. Obviously, I really like the animations and the dash and everything. It's a really cool idea. But the damage on this thing is is real bad. <laughs> like, is is it even hitting? It's not hitting, right? I can't... Is it? Is it dealing damage? I can't tell. Like, my laser dude is doing so much damage that I can't... No, it's not even hitting enemies. It's doing like... I, I'm very confused. Okay, no, it is hitting. It's just hitting for like, pathetically low amounts of damage. Very, very cool sword. I, I just think it needs a buff. <laughs> the, the actual sword itself, the animations... The, the styling of it, fucking love it. Looks awesome. Also, this laser dude is it's awesome. We're, we're probably gonna die, um, I gotta say. We're probably gonna die. But, that's what I get for going to the beyond and trading all my HP away. I don't feel particularly bad about that. Oh shit, I can't see anything because this case of darkness bullshit. Is there another enemy in here? Oh, there's multiple other enemies in here. Shit. Right. If we can get through this room, we can buy some HP, I think. Trying to get behind a wall here. Ah, oh, you bastard! <laughs> I knew. I knew as soon as I said, if we can get through this room, that that'd be the room I'd die on. Either way, we got to show off... Oh, what the hell? Why? None of my items are appearing. Um, We got to show off some really cool stuff from Enter the Beyond there. So, yeah. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.